guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to another reading vlog. So today we're going to be starting the April reading vlog and it's already Monday, April 12th. So I'm pretty far into the month already, but I finished two books so far and I wanted to talk about those books before I moved on to new books because I feel like as soon as you start getting past two, it gets really fuzzy and the books kind of, you know, intermingle. And I just wanted to give you guys a very clear explanation of what I thought about these books. I do have a Goodreads. I'll link it down below. I honestly don't give like long explanations or reviews on there. I simply just put like my rating and that's it. So this is a good place for you guys to get like a little brief explanation of what the book is and why I liked it and all of that fun stuff. So the first book that I read this month was Legend Born. This book is actually a book of the month book. I got this as an add-on. I always like every single month get a book of the month and then I add add-ons and I try and go outside my comfort zone. And this was definitely that. This is a young adult fantasy. And I 100% of the time go for like more contemporary romance books. And I'm so glad that I branched out this month and did something a little different because this book was incredible seriously incredible so if you are a part of book of the month and you want to do like an add-on i definitely recommend this book this one is just over 500 pages and it's actually going to be a series there's going to be a second book as well and i am so looking forward to that book i am going to pick it up as soon as it comes out because i just cannot wait to see where this is going to go so I wanted to really quickly just talk about the description that Book of the Month has for it. I try not to know too much about a book beforehand. I'll talk about that in a second. I feel like though it sometimes will ruin the book for you or give things away and so I try not to go into books knowing too much and that's exactly what happened with this book. So Book of the Month describes this as a mysterious society, a dangerous demon, a whole lot of magic, a modern day feminist take on the legend of Oth Arthur and the round table. So this is about a girl named Brie and she is part of the UNC Chapel Hill, like the college in North Carolina, their early admission college program. So if you're a really academically gifted kid, you can apply to this and you can start college early, get some college credits. It's a great program. And Brie was able to do it along with her best friend. So she goes into this program after just losing her mom. And that's definitely a big part of this book. So if you're not into books that talk about loss, that might be an issue because that is something that they talk about a lot in this book. So she just, you know, lost her mom. She goes to a party the night of, you know, her first day and she sees a demon and then she becomes a part of the society. She's trying to figure out what happened to her mom and how like this weird demon society and whole other world relates to her and her family. This book was super incredible. I loved all of the different aspects of this book. I, again, I'm super grateful that I picked it up and that I was able to try something new. And you guys know I love romance and all of that and there's a little bit I wouldn't say like this is a romance book at all but there's a little bit of romance in this book and so I feel like it was kind of the perfect mixture for me of trying something new but also getting a little tint of what I'm kind of used to so anyway I definitely recommend this book I gave it five stars of course and I am really looking forward to reading the second book Okay, so the second book that I read this month was actually an audiobook, and it was called The Friend Zone. This is, of course, a contemporary romance, and I decided to start reading this book because I knew that I had a lot of stuff going on during the weekend where I wouldn't be able to, like, physically hold a book and read, and so I figured if I could just listen to an audiobook while I'm doing certain things while I'm driving, folding laundry, cutting stickers, all of that fun stuff, that would be great. I went into it kind of... Um, with not the greatest feelings about it because the last couple of times I've read audiobooks or listened to them, I just wasn't a huge fan of it. But this was completely different. I really enjoyed this experience and I'm definitely looking forward to listening to some more. So this one, like I mentioned, was a contemporary romance. It's about a girl named Kristen who owns her own business and then a guy named Josh who's a firefighter. And they actually meet in the most fun way. So they get into a car accident and their experience 
during that accident and their exchange during that accident is actually pretty funny because they're both kind of jerks to each other. Um, it wasn't the greatest situation. And then they like five minutes later run into each other at the firehouse where Josh works. It was like a bring your family to work day or something like that. They always meet and have food together. And they realize that she is going to be the maid of honor and he's going to be the best man in both of their best friends wedding. So it was just kind of funny how it all started. They went into it like Kristen went into it being so annoyed with him and he kind of laughed it off, didn't think too much of it, but it, it was just a funny way that they met. Um, and so this story is definitely a romance and definitely really cute. I loved the banter. I loved the relationship, the fact that they were like kind of working together and stuff like that. But this definitely had some hard hitting topics. So I would recommend if you, you know, are triggered by certain things, I would definitely like look at some of those on Goodreads and figure out if it's something for you. One thing that I feel like I could mention a trigger that wouldn't necessarily give away the whole story is fertility issues. And as you guys probably know, we had fertility issues as well. So it's always kind of interesting reading books related to that, just because I feel like I do have the perspective of someone who's dealt with it. And I feel like they handled it in a really great way. Like I didn't feel like they did anything that made me think that that wasn't a true representation. And if you actually read the epilogue, she mentions, the author mentions that it's based off of her friend's experience. So I really like that. I rated this book five stars. I loved it. It's actually a three part series. So this is, it's all like the friend zones. There's three books. So a friend zone, then there's the happily ever after playlist. And then there is life's too short. So I kind of got ruined by, like I kind of got something ruined for me about the second book and like the ending of this book. And that's exactly why I would say that try not to read too much into books and like their descriptions and all of that because I saw, I feel like sometimes the whole story or like the plot twists or like main events kind of get ruined for you and then you're like, oh, well, I saw that coming. So anyway, I really loved that book. I am excited to read the other two books and I'm actually debating whether I should start the audiobook for the playlist, um, the Happily Ever After playlist, or if I should move on to something else. I was able to read or listen to that book using my library app and I do have the second book with my library, my library app as well. So I may listen to the next one. I'm not super sure. I thought for sure I was going to read um, After Age Eve Brown next, but now I'm debating if I should just keep going. So anyway, I loved both books so far. I am honestly shocked that so far I've had two five-star reads and I'm definitely gonna try and keep up a little bit better with you guys and keep you, you know, telling you guys what I'm thinking about books in more real time, but we'll see. Hopefully the next time you guys see me, my hair is a little different. I haven't been doing it because I am honestly kind of sick of it and I need something different. So hopefully the next time I see you guys, I look a little different and I'm actually more put together, but those are the two books I've read so far. I will definitely follow up with you guys when I read some more or I listen to some more, um, but I wanted to start this video and get everything started and talk about the books that I've loved so far. All right guys, it is Thursday, April 15th and I have officially finished another book and I'm started, I started on a new book. So I wanted to talk a little bit about this one. So this is the Happy Ever After playlist. This is actually the second book in the, what is it called? Um, friend Zone um, book series. So there's three of them. One is called Friend Zone. Then you have this one. And then the next one is Life is Too Short. I'm honestly not too sure how Life is Too Short is connected, like the third book. I don't know how it's connected because I know the first book that I read, the one that I talked to you guys last about, Friend Zone, that one is about a girl named, what's her name, Caitlin? Um, 
This is why I need to like prep before these videos. Oh my goodness. Kristen. It was about a girl named Kristen and her, um, and like her meeting this guy named Josh. Anyway, this book is about her friend Sloane, which you actually learn a lot about in the first book. So I definitely recommend like if you're going to read all of these books that you read them in order because I think it really does make a difference. There's a lot about Kristen in this book and a lot about Sloane revolves around what happened to her in the last book. So it's a lot of in intermingled things and I really like that because then you can learn more about Kristen's life um, in the second book. So anyway, definitely, you know, make sure that you know when you're reading series. I didn't know when I showed you guys this book as a book that I was going to read, someone mentioned it. So then I decided to read The Friend Zone first. I don't know if I mentioned, but I do have my machines going. So hopefully that's not super um, annoying. And also I got a haircut and i actually got it dyed like darker because i got it lighter last year and i honestly never liked it that way it was not what i wanted at all so i'm actually really liking it more dark so anyway little hair update because i did mention that i really wanted to get my hair cut so like i mentioned this is about salone and it's like the funniest like meat cute ever so she's having a hard time because of what happened in the first book she is like driving down the street the first chapter and a random dog like she almost hits a random dog and then the dog jumps into her um sunroof and the dog is like the cutest dog it ends up helping her a lot throughout like the journey that she's going through and she tries to figure out who the owner is i think the dog has like a tag and everything like that and so she ends up falling for the guy who like the owner of the dog um, and it just kind of goes over their whole journey. Um, this book is really cute. I actually listened to this on audiobook again because I've been like really working on, you know, trying to get as much done as possible. I had new releases like the past weekend. So I've been doing a lot of orders and I just thought like I could read it while I am working and it worked out really nice. I mentioned in the last clip that I just haven't been a huge fan of audiobooks and I feel like the last two in this series are perfect books to read on audio. I have a few more that I got from my library that I actually have the physical book but I can also get the audio book for free through my library and I think I'm going to do that too. So anyway, I really like this book. The banter was super cute. They kind of have like a long distance um, communication and I felt like the guy Jason was so cute. I don't know why, but like Josh, Jason, there's just always a lot of J names with these books. I thought it was really cute though. I Again, I love the aspect that we got to kind of follow along with the characters and yeah, that was just really fun. This book is definitely not like my normal, the normal things that I like in books. There's no like, you know, hate haters to lovers or anything like that, but it was really cute. Again, if you are thinking about reading this book and considering audiobook, I definitely recommend it. I feel like it was a really good experience and both of these books were close to 400 pages and I was able to listen like over two days and reading a 400 page book probably would have taken me a week. So anyway, I love that idea. I definitely like having the physical books, especially if I really enjoy them because the first book, like Friend Zone, I love that book so much that I would honestly go back and read it like when I have time. I just don't have a ton of time and I really want to like listen to stories and read. And so I feel like the audiobook is a great addition to that. This part of the book vlog is not as structured i didn't take notes so let me know what you prefer do you prefer me to like be a little bit more structured or to just kind of go with the flow tell you what's on my mind at the moment i'm open to anything but anyway i really liked this book i rated it five stars i may go back and do four i feel like i liked the first one a little bit better but again i liked that we got to follow up with kristen and with josh so i don't know I would say maybe it's four and a half, but I put five stars on Goodreads. So anyway, I can move this to my red shelf on my book cart. The next book that I'm actually physically reading is If I Disappear. This is about a girl who loves true crime podcasts. She actually follows along with this like really, she's like really into this one podcast about true crime. And the girl who has the true 
crime podcast actually lives in this like really like deserted town in like northern california and so this this girl who is following along and listening to her i honestly don't remember her name i'm so bad with these books sierra is the like main character the one that we're like kind of hearing about so sierra is following along with this podcast she loves the podcast she listens to it over and over and over honestly kind of like obsessively which is kind of weird so i don't know where this book is gonna go um but she realizes the podcast and none of the girl's social media accounts have been updated so she's like let me try and figure out what happened like what if you disappeared and i guess the podcaster kind of mentioned a few times like if i disappear if i disappear and so anyway sierra i think that's her name goes to the like farm or the ranch or whatever it's called where sierra has her like own house on her family's little ranch or camp or whatever it's called and she goes there and like kind of disguises herself as like a person who can help out like she's going to do manual labor all of that and while she's there she's trying to figure out what happened to this girl because again nothing has been updated her mom um her mom is the one running the camp and so sierra is kind of working alongside the mom trying to figure out the mom isn't really giving much information and so i am on page let's see i'm on page 59 right now and things are getting creepy like it's just weird so i am interested to see where this is going so far the tone is very creepy like the people in general in this book are really creepy sierra seems like she is obsessed with this person and the mom seems really weird and i don't know it's just very an interesting read it's not exactly what i thought about when i thought about true crime like i love listening to true crime podcasts not really podcasts i watched like this one youtube channel her name is Kendall Ray. So if you're looking for a YouTuber who does true crime, I really like hers. I went back and listened to like a bunch of her old stuff and I really liked it. So anyway, I'm really into that, but this book is different. I think this is more of a thriller and I'm excited to see where it goes. But so far, I don't know. I don't feel like it's like the best book. It is achieving the creepiness that, you know, you kind of assume that you'll get with true crime stuff. But yeah, so that's a little update. This book is really short. I think it's only, I think it's just under 300 pages. So I don't think it's gonna take me that long to get through it, but yeah, I'm excited to see what's gonna happen. It's gonna be interesting to see if what I'm thinking, like what I'm leaning towards is true. It's just a creepy book so far. So anyway, I will definitely update you guys when I finish this book and let you guys know my thoughts on it. All right guys, so it is Monday the 19th and I'm sorry in advance for the machines. I just have to my multitask as much as possible. So I finished If I Disappear on Saturday night. Um, so a few days ago or a couple days ago. And I talked a little bit about this in a different clip, but it's basically about a girl named Sierra. Her life was kind of falling apart. She got divorced, she lost a baby, lots of like very traumatic things. And so she became kind of obsessed with this one true crime podcast. And this true crime podcast is created by a girl who lives kind of in the middle of nowhere in Northern California. Her house and like recording studio and everything is on this like really deserted camp. I think and she's at this camp with her parents and so what happens is the podcaster goes missing she stops posting and this girl Sierra goes to try and find her because again she has listened to all of her like episodes and she feels like she was destined to go and find this girl so she goes undercover Sierra the like listener goes undercover goes to the podcaster's ranch or farm, I don't know what it is. I think it's just like a camp. And she like goes undercover, she works with the girl's parents doing like manual labor, she's cleaning windows, she's helping with the horses. 
and she's trying to figure out what happened to the podcaster. I think the podcaster's name is Rachel. It's very, it's a very weird story, and honestly, I wouldn't say that I recommend it. I haven't updated my like rating on Goodreads just yet because I'm still trying to process what I thought about it, but it was just very strange. I felt like this book is 300 pages, and out of the first 270, not much is happening. <laughs> Um, you're like learning more about like what sh the girl Sierra has learned about the podcaster Rachel but there's very little action it's just a lot of this is like a tiny bit of what happened in a podcast and this is what I know about you and it was just very slow it was very I, I honestly can't I can't describe how little this book did for me and then the last 30 pages that's when everything hits the fan like literally everything hits the fan you find out so much there's like kind of some twists and I, I don't know I did not like this book I did not feel like it was as described because the main focus of this book and what they like talk a ton about is the fact that it's about a true crime podcast, which I talked about before. I love true crime. I love listening to stories. I love, especially when, you know, someone is found or whatever. Like I love just hearing the stories and, you know, especially if someone's found and like things work out, that's great. But I felt like the true crime part of this was really missing. I felt like they didn't really go over any stories. They really didn't talk too much at all about the podcast and the stories that she would tell in the podcast. There's always like in the chapters, there's always like this little brief description of one of the episodes, but it like didn't go into like what happened. It was just very like, very cryptic. I just felt like it, it just wasn't achieved. Like the podcast part the true crime part it just wasn't achieved the way that I was kind of hoping that it would be there's very little about it and I don't know I just didn't like this book I did not like it and again I'm trying to figure out what I want to rate it I'm probably gonna go with a maybe a two it wasn't as bad as the one that I read last month people like her that one was just horrible but this one I felt like I don't know and I I didn't really like get into the writing either I felt like there were some points where like the girl is hooking up with one of the guys and it was written so that like I honestly at first didn't know what was happening and I'm like wait like they're together now <laughs> it was so strange so anyway I would not say that I recommend this book if you have read this one and you liked it let me know I don't know if I just wasn't in the mood for this book. I felt like I was because I read a bunch of romances and I'm like, okay, this will be good for me to read something different. But I just felt like this book did not do it for me. So I was really excited about it. I'm bummed. The funny thing is I listened to a few other people talk about this book and almost everybody that I listened to was not impressed. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I always feel like I try and give books the benefit of the doubt, especially when, you know, people dislike them because it could always be that they just weren't in the mood for it or whatever, but it was not my thing. So kind of a bummer. The next book that I'm going to be reading is Red, red white and royal blue i actually have this in audiobook form as well as obviously here so um i think what i'm gonna do is as i'm working because today is monday and i have a lot of stuff that i need to get done i think as i'm working and like designing custom scripts and all the stuff that i have to do with my shop i think i'm gonna listen to it so just an fyi i like i like reading physical books i feel like that's my that's what I enjoy the most. Although I don't really get a ton of time to do that because with cutting and filming and stuff like that, I don't always have a chance to like sit down and actually read. And right now it's kind of busy for me. So I'm working at nights as well. So I don't have a ton of extra time to just sit down and read. But a lot of the stuff that I can do 
or a lot of the stuff that I'm doing, I can also be like listening to something. So what I do is I like try and look for books that I have like a physical copy of and I look and see if my library has an audiobook for it. So I use an app called Libby. That's what my library uses. Um, and I can get like most audiobooks here pretty quickly. So this one I have, I also have Beach Read and um, the two lives of Lydia Bird or Lydia Bird. I have that one as well. So I think my plan going forward is I love having the physical copy of books because then I can like kind of hold on to I can hold on to it while I'm talking about the book for you guys. I also like it because like some of the books that I've read on audio recently, I would totally go back and reread. I just feel like it's different a different experience reading it versus like listening to it. So anyway, I think I'm going to be listening to this book as I'm working, long story short. I think this week is gonna be a big week for me where I'm going to have to listen to audio just because I have a lot going on and I don't think I'm gonna have time in between doing things to read. But I figured I'd mention that I have had really good success this month with audiobooks. And I think it's just because I'm picking up books that I would like to read anyway, like physically read. So it's just a good thing to also listen to. So I'm gonna read this one. I still have, two books that I need to finish to like finish that I need to read to finish series. So I have actor at actor age Eve Brown. And I also have life's too short, which is part of like the friend zone, um, book series. So I think I'm going to read this one first. And then whenever I have time to like physically sit down and read a book, I'm going to read those two. So anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing. I, started the audiobook for this one like yesterday I listened for like two minutes or something and I'm excited to see what it's about I know this one's really hyped up I know a lot of people like this one I think it's basically about two guys one is the like son of the president president of the United States is um he's the son of the president of U the United States and then it's about another guy who is part of like the British throne or something like that so I think it's just like their relationship and how they don't like each other and then I think they may fall in love I honestly don't know much about this I just know it's about two guys and they don't like each other and I've gotten a lot of people mention that this is like a great book a lot of the youtubers that I watch about books love this book so we're gonna read it so I will update you guys when I have some more thoughts on this. I'm hoping that it's great because I've heard great things. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get back into cutting, but I just wanted to give you guys a little update on what I'm reading. All right, guys. So it is Friday, April 30th. I wanted to sit down and talk about the last book that I read. So when I started this clip or when I did the last clip, I mentioned that I was going to be listening to this book on audio. And I actually did for like 5% of the book. And then I decided... Nope, I'm going to like physically read it and that's exactly what I did. I am trying to get over this sense of like trying to get through books because I feel like it's easy to be like, I wanna go on to the next one or I wanna read this one or this one and you forget that you're like, the whole point of reading is to enjoy it. And so it took me 10 days to finish this book. It is over 400 pages, so it is a little bit longer, but it took me a while to get through it. And I'm honestly kind of glad that I just let myself read it when I had time instead of like forcing it and doing the whole audiobook thing. I just feel like sometimes I don't enjoy the book as much when it's an audio. And so anyway, I physically read the book, moral of the story. Um, so anyway, this book is about a guy named Alex. He's actually the first son of the United States. And it's about his relationship with the Prince of England. So it's a very interesting dynamic. While you're kind of like learning more about them and seeing their like, their hate to love situation, you're also dealing with the presidential election. So again, his mom is the president of the United States and she's up for re-election. So you're kind of going along with their relationship and how it impacts the election and all of that stuff. This book was really good. I liked it for a number of reasons. I liked it one because I feel like it helped just, it really helped 
put into perspective the fact that like the president, the president's kids, they're people. They have people problems, like everyday people problems. They are falling in love. They're having, you know, issues trying to figure out what they want to do in life. And it just, I feel like it did a really good job of putting that into perspective, the fact that they're real people and that when like, the press or other people are talking about them like they see that they're people so i just really like that aspect about the book the other thing that i really liked about the book is i don't really have a ton of family expectations and i feel like sometimes i forget that that's a thing with people that people have those expectations and things they have to live up to so for example like if you have a family of lawyers and you're just kind of expected to become a lawyer or a doctor or whatever um sometimes you know people struggle with that because that's not exactly what they want to do they want to become a teacher or an artist or whatever it may be and so this book definitely talks about that it, they talk about it in terms of like Alex and being in politics, but also with Henry being, you know, part of the crown. And I feel like, again, myself, I don't have those family expectations. I was the first one in my immediate family to go to college and really like, how, how do I say this nicely? There weren't many expectations in my family for me to do anything. Um, I had a lot of freedom as a teenager and throughout high school and college and all of that I didn't have a ton of direction from my family luckily I had other sources like I had friends who were like good kids and had you know dreams for the future and then of course I had Jason and Jason's family um, so it was interesting hearing and learning about how some families have expectations about like what you're expected to do. I feel like, again, I have never had that. So I never think about decisions in that regard. And I feel like it was really interesting hearing that and seeing how people deal with that, because that's definitely something that both characters, like both of the guys had to experience. So yeah, it was an interesting book. This book is really hyped. If you watch any booktube videos, that's kind of what they call it, booktube, booktubers. Um, this book is like on pretty much everybody's shelves. I feel like in the background, I always see this book. I always hear people talking about it, being like this great romance and this great book. And I feel like it's hard when you get a book that's so hyped up because you just have these really high expectations for it. I think I'm going to give this book a four star. I really liked it. I felt like, like last night I read, I think like a hundred pages or so, and it's very easy to read. I really liked the banter between the two people. I really liked that, like, again, the people seemed really relatable. Like the president was swearing at her son. I just thought it was hilarious. Um, but I feel like because of all the hype, I kind of had like these high expectations that it was going to be this amazing, amazing book. And I don't know, I feel like I'm just trying to be a little bit more just I'm trying to think a little bit more about my ratings, because I've given a lot of five stars in this video. And I feel like they can't all be five stars. Like if you're comparing them, I don't know. Anyway, I liked the book, I wouldn't say that it's like, up there with the hating game or with some of the other books that I've read, but I did like it. I liked it. I felt like this was more of the contemporary side and not so much the romance, although there was remote romance in there. Um, I felt like because of the election piece of it, like there, the election was a huge piece of the book. I felt like that part of it made it a little bit less of a five star read for me, if that makes any sense. I don't know. When I'm reading, when I'm going into books, especially with romance, I like a lot of it to be about romance. And I don't know if I've talked about this a lot, but I'm not really big into politics. I don't talk politics ever on my channel or anything like that. You probably have noticed that about me. So um, although I knew going into this book that it was going to be somewhat about politics, I wasn't exactly prepared for all of it. Like there's a lot about everything. Um, so anyway, I really liked it. I thought that it was a good book. If you want to read it, I definitely recommend it. Um, I feel like it, it is something that like gets you thinking about other things. Like I said, there's two things in the book that besides the romance just had me thinking like, man, 
I never had to deal with that. Like my life is a little different. So I feel like those types of books are always kind of fun to read. So this month, just to wrap up, because I know this video is probably very long, I read five books and one of the books I don't actually have with me because I sold it to Half Price Books. If you guys have a Half Price Books by you, I definitely recommend going to check it out. They do have like older used books. They do also have like a new section so you can, you know, look at some of the newer books. But they take any book, like you can bring it in and sell it back to them and they'll take anything. I think I even sold like my CPA books there. Um, but I mean, you don't get a ton. I think last time I sold like four books, I got like $6. So it's not very much, but if you, if you know, you're never going to read it again, I feel like it's good to bring it there and then other people can enjoy the book. So again, to wrap up, I read five books this month. The first book was, was legend born, legend born, <laughs> Lord, um, legend, legend born. And let me actually pull these. Mm, should I? No, I'm not going to pull them. Yeah, I'm going to pull them. I'm going to pull them because I feel like it's helpful to see these. Oh, they're stuck. That's kind of like the bad part about putting them in the bookshelf. Okay, I have them. Sorry about that. I just wanted to show you guys just in case you like are wondering what the books are. So the first one was Legendborn. This is a young adult fantasy book. I got this from Book of the Month. It is a very long book. It took me a while to get through, but I really, really, really liked this book. I gave this five stars, and I believe there's going to be a second book. I'm not sure exactly when it's going to come out, but I definitely want to continue reading this series. If you have read this one and you like have other books that you think are pretty similar to this book, like other series, let me know down below because, again, I really enjoyed this one. Next, I read the, well, let's see. Did I read this one next? I think I did. Next, I read The Friend Zone, the first book. It's really hard to see because um, it's like yellow font on this like blue. Um, so anyway, I read this. I actually listened to this on audio. I read this in two days. Not read it, but I listened to it in two days. It was a really good book. I really liked it. I gave this one five stars as well. This one had to do with infertility. So if that's something that's like triggering to you, I would recommend not not um not reading it but if you are kind of past that like if you have like experience infertility but then like you know you you dealt with it or you're okay with reading things about it then I would recommend it I really liked it it's really good on audio if you are if you like audiobooks I definitely recommend this one and then the next one so then I read the second one which is the happily the happy ever after playlist so this is book two in the friend zone series and I gave this a five star as well this one follows the second book so do not read the background of this book do not read like the introduction or whatever to this book if you have not read the other one because it will give away something that happens in the book um, I listened to this on audio I'm not sure if I mentioned that already but I also really enjoyed this one. I gave this one five stars as well. I may go back and put it as four stars. I liked it. Um, I really liked it. I liked that like you kind of learned more about the characters from the friend zone, but there's just something about it that was not as good as the friend zone to me. I don't know. Maybe it was just the characters. I really liked what was her name? Kristen. I really liked Kristen in this book. So that was the third book that I read. Next, I read If I Disappear, and I did a whole video on that book, or I talked about that book a lot in this video, but I did not like that book. I did not. It's funny because I love true crime, and I think I mentioned this before, but I love true crime, and I was just really disappointed that there wasn't more true crime. Like, it was more just this girl living on this like ranch or something and it was just super strange and then of course the fifth book that i read was red red white and royal blue and i really liked this book as well so those are the books that i read in april a lot of romance three books that are romance one that was a thriller mystery and then one that was fantasy so that was actually a pretty well-rounded month i think so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed hearing about the books that i read this month 
I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a TBR video or like a haul video just because I honestly haven't picked up actually I did pick up a couple books I may do a haul video we'll see let me know down below if you want to see a haul video because I do have books from book of the month coming and then I did pick up a few um, I got one sent to me so anyway let me know if you guys want to see that video I would definitely put that up if that's something that you guys are interested in but yeah that is it for this reading vlog I am going to pick right back up and start today with the next book that I'm going to read and I think I'm going to read The Wife Upstairs because that has been something that I've been wanting to read I've heard really good things about it so I think that's what we're gonna do but anyway let's go ahead and finish this video because it's already too long so again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye guys